Have you ever felt that fear that you would possibly lose your job? Maybe you'd think that you were gonna lose your spouse, your best friend, or possibly money, your home, other possessions that you might have. Today, we're gonna to talk about the secret to a wonderful life. Abundance gives you the ability to see and create what you have, having a mindset that keeps on the idea that there is plenty of resources. Today, we're going to discuss how abundance leads to greater creativity, appreciation, and growth. And in addition to that, we're also going to go through a blueprint to achieve an abundance mindset. One of the most important reasons why having an abundance mindset is crucial is because it allows you to live a happier and more filling life. What's paradoxical about the abundance mindset is that it cannot be achieved by you trying to hold on to everything and fearing that loss of what you have. It's actually achieved by letting go of that possessive mindset and being open to the future. Having that abundance mindset in your personal life, your professional life, dating, even with money, it allows you to be open to the opportunities and growth that are available. And by going back to the beginning and the start of this video, it is by letting go of the fear that you might have, like losing your job or your spouse or your friends or your money, therein that you develop the mindset of abundance. Although there is no debate that a scarcity mindset, not having enough, leads to despair, whereas an abundance mindset leads to happiness and fulfillment, there is a point to which you're using your mind to cultivate the abundance mindset, but you also need real life resources and real life situations where you can have this action occur. Now, if you'd like to read a little bit more about scarcity mindset versus abundance mindset, I want to head you over to my website where you can read the blog in more detail at www.amanda-desilva.com under blogs. But for the meantime, I want to go over five steps that I can share with you that will help you create this abundance mindset and make your life feel more fulfilling and fruitful. Let's discuss the five actions to take towards abundance. Number one, become what you think. You must create a life where you do and become what you think because there's no going further in life if you do not do as you set out. Number two, reject that fear. Something truly wonderful happens when you lose that fear that's associated with the abundance mindset. Your mind will be freed and that creativity triples because you no longer think about how to keep things as they are now in fear of losing, but instead you're thinking about how to improve and evolve. Focus on the positives. Now I know I sometimes sound like Pollyanna, but focusing on the positives is such a huge part of my life that I want to try to instill upon you as well. And if you already do it, bravo, that's great. But we know that bad outcomes are always going to be there no matter how well we do in life, right? So of course we wanna seek excellence, but we don't wanna focus on those negative aspects or for too long. So really, really crucial and important that you try to focus on the positives because there are silver linings everywhere if you look for them. Number four, embody abundance. While we know abundance is indeed a mindset, it can certainly be physical. For instance, if you don't have enough money to pay for rent, food, your car, or to pay for necessities, you will not even have the luxury to think freely. And being in those shackles of fear will always trample your attempts to do and be the best version of yourself. So it's always best to save at least 10% of every dollar you earn in addition to having a, an emergency fund that you can always fall back on just in case something happens. And number five, be willing to do the work because ideas are wonderful, but ideas without actions don't ever come to fruition. And then we know that reality is present and it's fun to talk about ethereal or theoretical aspects and it might be comforting at the time, but if you don't put that idea into action, nothing will ever get done. So the bottom line to recap, having that abundance mindset is one of the most powerful weapons that you can have in your arsenal. And once you achieve this state of mind, you will truly be free in your mind. It's all about destroying that scarcity mindset of fear that blinds you from the life that you want to live. And once you let go of your fears and you develop this abundance mindset, the world opens itself up to you with its limitless opportunities and boy does it feel absolutely wonderful. Having said that and recapping what the bottom line is here, it's creating abundance. For me, 
is the secret to a wonderful life. And I hope this has given you some inspiration. You can find other tips, helpful blogs. You can go to my coaching area and sign up today to be part of the newsletter because now I am going to be doing one video at the top of each month on a topic. And our topic this month is abundance. And if you're part of my newsletter subscribers, each week you're going to get action items and more information on that topic that you can apply for free to your life. So head on over to www.amanda-desilva.com forward slash newsletter to sign up today. And also while you're here, I would love if you click subscribe down below on my YouTube channel and that way you'll be alerted each month when I upload a new video. Have a wonderful day and thanks for joining me.